Nailed it. Man, that's a lot of fun. It is it is truly like the rest of the week just exists and I live, I thrive, I shine like a fucking star next to you every Tuesday night. <laughs> Next to you. Yeah, you, I, I don't know, you're just there, I guess. <laughs> Me, I'm made of white hot energy. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, like, like we together, I don't know, we Voltron up and fucking uh, attack the internet. And it's I amazing. mean, it really is, it, it is, it is something that affects everything because, like, at the end of the day, if there's a good Night Attack episode, Wednesday feels awesome. Yeah. If it's a bad Night Attack episode, ooh, the rest of the week. Kind of has just like something to something to make up for. Well, there's, you know? I feel there, like there, there's the, weeks uh, we feel like we put uh, credit in the bank, and other times that we you know take it out, and you know it, like it always a, feels better to. It's like the that. scene on Breakfast at Tiffany's. She says, "I've always got the candy store." You guys yep. Really... I don't know what that means. Yeah, I mean that's that song, right? Sure. I'm always at that candy store. Always at that candy store. Always at that. Always at that. Always at that candy store. Dre, bass drop. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. MC Allergy presents a peanutless <laughs> Christmas special. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! You know what would be really awesome? Okay, this is this is it. All right, so we're calling it a bukkake of bell peppers, right? That's the number one on here. Rub yolk on my face and cry <laughs> about my dad. <laughs> well, we want something that fits into. That's pretty good too. <laughs> we want something that fits into the. As whenever I think about titles, I always think about like, what what's on my like Stitcher or iTunes or whatever. Sure, sure. Satan's jizz. Mm. Although I don't know, I, like there was a Harmony Town episode that was called like "That's My Wife's Pie, You Bitch." That was like I thought was a really funny title, and that's a sentence. So maybe rub yolk on my face and cry about my <laughs> like, dad. Uh, dude, let's do it. All right, rub yolk on my face and cry about my dad. It's pretty good. Uh, do you think do you think mail route's cool with us? Uh, you know, comparing their. We products? haven't asked them for money in a while, but I mean, they were cool with all the other shit we did. I mean, you know, we need to actually ask everybody for money. Also, we need to figure out what our. I mean, I don't know if we should talk about this. No, go me. ahead. Uh, we we got like. 90% to like figuring out a good pay structure for uh Cheeto and and, and T2. T2. Uh, so, so, uh, uh, num num and number then, one, and then, and is, then we got spooked a... on like the credit card thing. And now that's kind of done, and we kind of have a better idea of exactly what is stable on that, right? And we just need to like, like, there's like 10% of us just, oh, let's just make sure that that's all still cool and say okay, and then. Whatever, right. but we just need to go through and just do it. Yeah, no, it's a crime against humanity that T2T2 is not being compensated financially for the house that we party in every fucking day yeah. in this here. I mean, he built this and, 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 physical structure. Yeah. I mean, him, him, Cheeto, of course. Him, you know, Cheeto, doing and, this, and, and, and Leon. Leon. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we, we want to figure out a way to... Uh, to uh, I mean, they are guys who are night in and night out like making this happen. And And let's just say... That we have learned a lot of a lot of lessons about. Uh, oh shit! Doing bukkake is a food term. What? It's technically bukkake udon, or I guess you throw a lot of fucking onions. On is shit. that that is where the name came from? And now y'all went totally back to it. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's like, you know, because all those poor names are fake. So he goes, "It's a bukkake. That's my name." Because it's like a whole bunch of food. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, TV Zegon points out that, that T2T2 has a Patreon if you want to support him directly for the house that he allows us to And I do. In. Yeah. Every fucking week. Mm. Um, yeah. I, and that's, he deserves that. And he deserves more from us. Yeah. I mean, here's, I mean, I was just going to say, you know, listen, we, we've, we've learned a lot about fucking what audience means this year. 2015 has been the year of what does audience mean, and we have fucking seen, we have seen the sun, and we never want to see the moon. <laughs> I mean, the answer is you know? it means everything, right? Is what it boils down to. And 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 that's something that we want to work toward, and we have been shoddy in making, pulling the trigger on that. Oh, Brian, what's up? 
you're dieting and you're just looking at food porn. <laughs> I totally am. I actually am wondering how long the images can go just looking all the same. That's what's really weird to me. Do you have safe search on? You are um. food cyst. They do. They are different in unique dishes. And you're They're saying all, they, they look all, look all the, the same. same. Look, ah, man, y'all say these different noodles. These mm. all the same noodles to me. Look at this. Look at this. It's all, Guys. look at me. I made an egg. Do, 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 do. Right. Fucking egg uh, noodles <laughs> everywhere. Oh, it's oh. all the same. Oh, no. I don't see no difference. Oh, no. You know, these motherfuckers, oh, they over there, geez. they stealing our starch. Oh. They taking it to the other side of the world. Brian. You know, they eat dog. <laughs> You know they eat dog. Glape. Uh. <laughs> right. Glape. <laughs> and glape. <laughs> Dude, I fucking, I feel really proud of myself today. Because I definitely, t- Tuesday is a heavy uh, podcast day. Sure. At least today sure. was. Yeah. But I did. Uh, uh, number up. one, you got on a motherfucking plane at three. Uh, uh, woke uh, up woke up at three. Wait, first of all, three Pacific time. Pacific time. Right. Okay, yeah. Which three means Pacific time. Oh, well, it means slightly later. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Sorry, I, I undercut you. You woke, woke up, up at three. Woke up at three Pacific time to get on a 545 flight Yep. Uh, out to Denver. Land in Denver. Fucking Denver. Do the morning stream on my layover. Oh, shit, you did? Did the morning stream on my layover. I'm literally walking into the plane, and so I check, I, I, I use the thing. Oh, by the way, Brian, we had this, this is a, a fucking callback to a conversation we had on Weird Things like three weeks ago. Sure. Uh, I totally understand where your hesitation is on using this as your boarding pass. Oh. Because the apps that, like the native apps, for whatever reason, have them way fuzzier than Passbook does. Got it. Passbook has a far sharper I mean, image. All I know, keep in mind, I've never done it. Yeah. All I've seen is every embarrassed asshole who's holding yes. up the line fucking trying so for to, whatever to make reason, that happen. Like I had Passbook or, or something happened where it's like I didn't load into Passbook. Or no, I know. If you change your flight too many times, it doesn't it. reload back. It doesn't print up and reload back into Passbook. Right. So I use the United thing and I've noticed that the United the United app takes way more things than the Passbook one does. Anyhow, I, I'm checking in like for, like at the gate to my flight to Austin and they uh like they upgraded me to first class because I was just up on the upgrade list well, or because whatever. you're a classy guy I'm a classy guy yeah. and it's like I'm like in the middle of talking and they're like oh it looks like it sounds like Justin's checking in and I'm like yeah hey guys I got updated for, I upgraded to first class and they're like like oh why like you yeah, because of miles and I'm like no because my point was that fucking good. <laughs> they said your Bill Cosby take is so great. We're upgrading you to first class. That's amazing. Wow. Uh, so anyway, just so you understand where I was like doing the segment as I'm sitting down in first class, fly down here, have to come back to here, do DTNS, and then took care of work and did this. Feel like I have done my podcast duty. For today, this is, yeah. this is a, a road warrior well, podcast. All of this is is where he's about to me. to take my mic and throw it on the ground and be like, "I'm out." Yeah. Um. But yeah, so you got a lot of me if you wanted, which we do. Uh. Hey, I guess we'll hold off on reading the next chapter of uh, Lincoln. We Express. can talk about Lincoln Express. I don't think we we, we want to do it because my voice is kind of fucked and I got to sort of save it for tomorrow. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. tired, but. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll we'll do a recording of it and make it available. Uh, I think uh, we we had a discussion like like do we want it to be a regular feature on the show or do we want it to be its own thing similar to what we did with DIAF and and we think we want it to be a DIAF thing. It would be pretty rad to launch it as its own. I mean, I think only also thing. because we're st- if we get full cranking on the f- on on the journey. Yeah. Then that means it's too. We've blocked out basically like two process. All right, real things. quick. Everybody in the chat room is be like, I've used it and it worked fine. Uh, good for you, bro. That's great. It certainly hasn't worked for anyone in front of me in any line I've ever been in in the history of all of the flights that I've ever taken. Um, so talk to those guys, I guess. I don't know. I mean, all right. And I've used it. I use it every single day and it works great. So, I mean, and that's fine. And we all have different experiences, and we all fucking see the world in our own relative time and distance. Sure. Uh, 
with the Lincoln Express thing, if 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 we do the journey stuff and we're doing very processy journey shit, then it, I think it's weird if it's like we're blocking out two thirds of the show effectively. Yeah. For like you know what two thirds of projects. the show is yep, going yep, to be. Yep, 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 yep. So I think we're gonna do it as an after show thing, and that way we just have a go to after show thing. And people seem to dig it. The fucking edit that some random dude did for for the dude, first thing. Was yeah, great. no, no, no. Let me let me see if I can find that. Uh, somebody, or as a matter of fact, you guys could probably find it faster than I did. Somebody at replied me over Twitter. I think I just responded to him saying thanks. Um, he edited down everything to a tight twelve minutes for that opener, and it does. It sounds really good. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to make this shit happen because it's good. Because my thought content. was like either we do it as we did it last time, where it's it's we're doing it like DIAF, where we're trying to record like an on the fly audiobook, and it's kind of like it's fun to watch because it is sort of improv y and like Brian's reading the shit uh live and, and trying to keep pace and everything and I'm trying to come up with fucking like new voices and keep the voices Characters. straight and shit like that. Um but it's either that or we do it kind of like in the style of like the Harmontown D and D, where like we're joking as we're doing it. And right. It's like, which, which gives who the it, fuck is this? Which, which Ricky get, Ricardo? Yeah. Like, no. It, it gives it gives the the script short shrift, and so I feel like 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 listen, this is how it can sound, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lincoln Express, a play written by Alex Burns. Fade in, interior, Ford Theater. 1863, night. Foot candles blaze brightly at the foot of the stage. The house is full and the eyes of the audience are mesmerized, transfixed on the handsome, dark-haired man delivering an impassioned clues. And the part of the narrator was Brian Brush. Oh, his black pants, his tie, his jacket, and finally, yes, the stovepipe hat. He is Abe Lincoln, and he is one awesome dude. Please join us next week for the continuation of Lincoln Express, a night attack exclusive. Playing the part of the narrator was Brian Brushwood. (laughs) Playing every other role was Justin Robert Young. Please donate to the Mary Todd Lincoln Foundation for people who are reading podcasts. I'm Brian Brushwood on behalf of Night Attack. We hope you enjoyed this week's presentation. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Diamond we... Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's intentionally oh, like God. shitified, like the. <laughs> I love that. Oh, play that one more time. <laughs> play that one more time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn, that was amazing. <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> oh, Jesus, that's, that's so good. I'm so happy. I um, mean, isn't that hilarious, though? Like, you listen to this, like... Dude, I want to put that on the back of every podcast <laughs> I do. <laughs> Diamond Club. Diamond Club <laughs> hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> Like, Can we start doing that on this shit? <laughs> Can we just make that the end tag on, <laughs> on everything? Dude, I'm putting it at the end of every jury cast. I know that. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's, let's all get on the same page. This, bro, bro. <laughs> Me, we got to ask Tom if he wants to put that on the end of DTNS. <laughs> <laughs> he puts the frog <laughs> pants shit at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, Ace Detect says yes, he's 100% in. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, this <laughs> oh, man. Who's that guy? We got to track that guy down. <laughs> oh, Jed Audible? <laughs> yeah, Jed. Like, what if, what if we got him on and we got him to uh, – because uh, I told you, like, um, you know, when I, was, when I was doing shows at Universal Orlando, uh, there was a guy who – uh, you know, he's now, uh, you know, I don't know. He's like in his like oh shit seventies, I guess, or whatever. He just loves working at the, the parks, but he used to do the, uh, the, the local or, or, or the national CBS bumpers at the end of shit. Like shit would end. Yeah. It'd be like, uh, coming up and don't forget there's nightline followed by your local news. And it's yeah. like, like he fucking spoke those words and I was instantly eight years old, and I, I remembered hearing them. It was yeah, amazing, It really dude. was. It was just like a portal. Because, uh, you know, like, you can have certain smells or 
or touch things that take you back things yeah that take you back and that voice was so surprising like i remember yeah right you know? it right? just was that guy was awesome <sighs> wow good night guys Fine, Chloe. hope you enjoy it for <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I love I love how perfectly fatigued he, he got it where it's like he lowered the bit rate on it. Oh wait, wait, oh there we go. Yeah. Too tired to finish it. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> <laughs> it just comes in <laughs> like too hot and too fast. Oh, so good. Uh all right. It's just one of those things where it's like it's just been like Fucking dragged and dropped on like so many <laughs> yes. fucking like, and now you wait for it, right? Like a book ends, and you just hang around. And you're like, it's coming, it's yeah. coming, it's coming. Right? Audible hopes you enjoy this program. <laughs> hey, you that motherfucker of... spoke that into a sound blaster microphone. <laughs> you oh, know, dude, it was like, like like five years or twenty years ago. It was like fucking the, the, when Audible was like a fucking third rate books on tape company or yeah. some shit. Like <laughs> exactly. That um. All right, so I gotta fucking talk to Veronica and see if she can be on this launch episode. All right, uh, look, uh, we're we're gonna shut everything down, but it's only because we love you with all our hearts. Good night. And that's oh, let's do this. I don't. Got that on there. All right, yeah, yeah, none of that Satan's jizz. That shit's nasty. <laughs> hey, anything else? No, that'll be all. Here's our 446 second window, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy. Perfect. Best day ever. I love you guys. Bye bye. Nice. What? Tight. What? What? Dead Skype, y'all. Dream of diamonds. Ted, 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 Skype. Talk a phone, wanna see the face, wanna roll the bone, the motherfucking Ted Skype, jizzing in your face, stuck in your mood, it's gonna blow. I ain't got nothing, I ran out of steam, sorry. Ruh, 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 remix! What y'all motherfuckers know Ted about Skype. Ted Skype? What? Ted Skype kissed your mom! Let's hear from my Alice Soups out there. <laughs> <laughs>